Hello, and welcome to Take 5 with Iggy. Today, we come together as one body in Christ, to celebrate Easter. Today, is a day when life conquers death. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, is risen. To prepare ourselves for our Gospel reading, let us ponder on the Lord's resurrection, through the eyes of Italian painter, Piero della Francesca. Piero della Francesca's 15th century fresco of the resurrection of Jesus Christ comes from an unexpected place. Rather than a church or a shrine, it adorned the wall of a civic meeting hall of the Tuscan town of San Sepulcro. On this Easter Sunday, this triumphant image of Christ emerging from the tomb compels us to consider what his victory means not only for the church, but for our whole world. The Gospel tells us what it was like for Mary Magdalene and the other disciples to discover the empty tomb and to allow their sorrow to cautiously evolve into possibility and then gradually passionate faith. The resurrection here does not lead us down that same gradual path, but rather captures the moment when Christ emerges triumphant from the tomb. The image of Christ is strong in victory and ready for action, as one foot rests on top of his tomb, propelling him forward. His gaze is direct, piercing, an expression of the supernatural order, of ultimate sovereignty. His halo is like a crown, his flag of triumph is like a scepter. Christ transitions here not only from death to life, but from the rabbi who walked the roads of Galilee to the risen Lord, who now reigns in majesty. The Easter sequence reverberates through the image. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life, who died, reigns immortal. The composition of the scene is one of contrasts, juxtaposed to convey transition. Christ's strong and steady form emerging from the tomb is in contrast to the limp but limber bodies of the four guards sleeping in front of it. In particular contrast are the eyes, closed eyes and covered faces below, as opposed to the direct and piercing gaze of the Lord above. The figures are arranged in a triangular formation, and it is as if Christ, at the apex of the group, gathers into himself all of our human laxity, blindness, and apathy, and transforms it into an active, focused presence toward the fullness of life. The trees behind him reinforce this theme, as the dry and dead trees on the left transform into the full foliage on the right in the coming light of dawn. In the town of San Sepulcro, this fresco was in the town hall, announcing its Alleluia not in the church, but in the public sphere. In this Easter season, Christ is risen indeed in our churches, but also in our homes, communities, workplaces. All of creation is illuminated by the new dawn brightening behind the risen Lord. Christ our hope has arisen, bringing the triumph of life into all the contexts in which we live it. Let us now welcome our Savior, Jesus Christ, into our hearts as we pray the examine together. As we come into the presence of the Lord, be silent and still for a few moments. Let's begin. Say hello to Jesus, as you would, when you meet a friend. Ask him to give you light in your prayer.
Then, say thank you to Jesus. Express your gratitude to him for something that you are thankful for. As you recall your blessing, take note of what you're feeling. Now, say sorry to Jesus. Express your sorrow to the Lord where necessary. Were you challenged by anything that happened lately? What emotions are you feeling as you recall the event? Finally, say please to Jesus. Ask the Lord to help you. How does your belief in the resurrection change how you live your life? Now, slowly bring your prayer to a close. Look forward with hope to tomorrow. Believe and walk in faith with Jesus. We've come to the end of Take 5 with Iggy today. Thank you. And, a joyful and peaceful Easter season to one and all.